In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to teach you how to make some concrete fall pumpkins. I'll teach you how to get the right mixture for the concrete pumpkins, and I'll also teach you step by step how to make them. They're a fun and easy project, and with fall just around the corner, let's go ahead and just dive into this. You're going to want to buy some play sand. It's only $3.40 for a bag. Next, you're going to want to buy some Portland cement. I had to buy a big bag because that's all they had, but you might be able to find a smaller bag. With that being said, the big bag was only $13.75. I added one cup of play sand to the bucket. And I have one cup of Portland cement that I'm going to add to it. Always make sure to wear gloves and also a mask. You don't want to breathe in this concrete and you don't want it really touching your hands because it is very drying. Now I'm going to start adding a little water to it. I'm not going to pour the whole cup of water in there because you don't want it to be too watery. So just kind of add a little at a time, see how thick it is and add water accordingly. See, this is just way too dry, so we're just gonna have to keep on adding a little more water until we get like, um, I wanna say a pudding type consistency. I got this package of knee highs at the dollar store and you can make four pumpkins from them. So we're gonna take one of those and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around this dollar store bowl that I got. Just like this. Now we're going to start scooping in our cement mixture. Put enough in there so that it can be a decent sized pumpkin. Once you think you have enough, then take the knee high off the bowl and just kind of push down that cement to the bottom of the knee high. This is where it gets a little messy. I realized I needed a little bit more, so I put the knee high back on the bowl so I could scoop more in. Taking that off, I continued to push down the cement to the bottom of the stocking. And then you're going to want to tie it off at the top. This is the diagram of what we're gonna do with the rope to make the sections of the pumpkin. And now using jute, you're gonna wanna wrap that around the middle, right in the center. Once you do that, you're gonna crisscross the rope and then you're gonna go the opposite way, wrapping it around the center again. Now you should have four quarters and now we're going to take the rope and we're going to wrap it around where both of those meet so that we can have six sections. I 
have a little extra rope, so I'm just trying to find the end so I can tie this off. You're gonna wanna tie off your knot right under the stocking knot. Your pumpkin should look something like this. Then using scissors, cut off the excess rope. You're gonna let that dry overnight. Okay, so our pumpkin is all dry, and now I'm gonna take these little snips and cut the jute off. I probably should have did this over newspaper, so I suggest using newspaper so that you don't have all this all over your counter. So now you're gonna just start peeling off that knee high just to get that off the concrete pumpkin. These were really cheap knee highs, and if you go with a more high quality knee high, it's gonna come off a little easier, but I wanted to save money. You know, you wanna get four pumpkins for a dollar, so that's why we chose the, the less expensive knee high. So this is what our pumpkin should look like after you get the knee high off. And you could take a piece of sandpaper and sand any areas that don't look really smooth. This looks really good after it's sanded. So to make the stems, you wanna cut a few branches and then we're gonna to toss that into a cement mixture. This one's gonna be a little more watery and we're just gonna to toss that around. Now I'm just adding a little of that mixture to the center of our pumpkin that has already dried and then we're gonna attach the stem right in the middle of that. With your finger, you're gonna wanna smooth that all out so that it's not all bumpy, and then we're gonna let that dry. Here it is after it's dried, and we're just gonna take a little sandpaper and make that smooth all around the stem. Now this stem attached perfectly, but I can't say the same for a few of the others. See, this one just came right off. If that should happen, all you have to do is take a little of the E6000, apply some of that right in the middle, and then just place your stem on top of the glue, pressing firmly. I even put this pair of pliers on top just to kind of hold that in place and just give it a little weight so that it'll adhere good. I think these turned out absolutely gorgeous. You can have them by themselves. You can put them on a platter. You can even stack them and they are just wonderful. It's the perfect decoration for fall.
If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this is Flea Market Rescue.